it's Ezra here and welcome to Dax's desk, a place where we can come together to connect and communicate about all things study, planning, productivity and organisation. So I thought I'd do this video in a little bit of a more chill place. I'm just sitting in, I guess I'll call it the plant room because there are a lot of plants in here. If you don't see, there's just a lot of plants everywhere. And it used to be a fireplace room. It used to be a fireplace room, except because it's summer now, we don't tend to use the fire a lot. So basically I want to talk about what happens when you think you're taking too much on. So a lot of my videos are about how you fit everything in your day, how you, you know, you plan to save time here so that you can do something elsewhere. But I've been reading this book by Arianna Huffington, which is called Thrive. and this book is kind of giving me a new insight into what we choose to do in our life. Obviously everyone is in a different stage in their life. <clears throat> I am a senior year uni student and in Australia it's getting close to exams so I'll soon be in my last year of my bachelor's degree and <laughs> alongside the fact that I'm not really sure what I want to do in the future I am involved in quite a lot of things right now. I have two jobs, I have a boyfriend, I am part of two club committees at uni, I'm trying to run a new club and I have this YouTube channel and of course I have my actual course which is quite demanding. Anywho, so I've been thinking for a while how am I going to cope with all of these things next year? A lot of these commitments are just starting and next year they may get even bigger and you know because it's my third year I know that a lot of the subjects will be much harder to do well in. So I asked myself, what am I going to do next year? All of these opportunities I took, I took for a reason. And it may be because I find it fun, maybe because I want to make some money and I want to gain a little bit of experience in something other than what I'm studying. It might be to do with things going on my academic transcript. So the mentoring and the affiliation of a club, sorry, academic transcript or my resume if I go down that path. So a lot of these things I can put on there and it will hopefully give me an advantage. So having all these things here is getting me just slightly worried and I wanted to talk to you about what to do if you feel like you don't have enough time or these things aren't aligning with your goals. So step one is to make sure they actually align with what you want in life. If I was doing something for just a small benefit and it was taking a lot of time, then think about not doing that. It's really hard sometimes to quit something once you've started, but sometimes that decision has to be made so that you can move on. So if it's a bigger decision, whether you're thinking if a course is right for you or if a job is right for you, then you really need to take these decisions not so lightly. For me, it helps to try and put the pros and cons, but not just in a list. Just write on a piece of paper what you're doing in a bubble and then doing like a little mind map or a flow chart about what you find beneficial and how you feel when you're doing this activity and then write why you want to quit. If it's just time-wise, then maybe consider how much time it saps and whether you can just minimize the time you spend doing that activity. If not, if it's an all or nothing, then really think about what your other priorities are. Can you save some time here by not procrastinating a lot when you're doing your work and do this activity instead? So one of the things I found with keeping busy is that it does help my productivity levels. When I know I've got something during the day, I know I have to finish my work before that something. If I have an entire day to work or do basically anything, I will procrastinate. It's just, it's what happens. And I see a long stretch of time and I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll just catch up later. When realistically, I actually work better in the morning. So my second tip would be to not stress about stopping something you're committed to. So once you put down your name for something, it's really hard sometimes to quit. And if we stop choosing to put negative connotations to the word quit, 
then it becomes a lot easier to just say goodbye to that activity and move on. You might find another activity that benefits you even further or you might just have some extra time on your hands so that you can pursue the other activities you have in your life. When it comes to speaking to that person, my biggest tip is to write down the main points you want to hit. If they ask why, you know what to say. You're not just waffling in front of them. If they want to know if anything was wrong with their position, I think you should be honest with them. If you think there was, then say that in the nicest way possible. You should write all this down if you're feeling a little nervous, maybe even rehearse in front of a mirror. And when it comes to that day, don't be afraid to speak for yourself. I think it's really important for them to acknowledge that the choice you're making is for your own future and you've spent some time with them and you've just figured out that maybe it's not the best thing for you. So if it comes to speaking to other people about your decisions that necessarily don't support them, then just remember that this life is your life. Honestly, your creation of life comes from your mind. And in order to nurture that and make the most of what short time we have here, it's really important to be selective of what you are choosing to do and choosing to spend your time on. So that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed all my tips and I will see you next Thursday. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and good luck out there. See ya.